Hey everybody, it's Lynn Pratt. Thanks so much for joining me to do this quick little Santa hat in a five by seven, which is really easy and perfect to do for a Christmas card. So I have my image either drawn or transferred on my paper, and I'm gonna keep this super simple. I'm gonna do a wet into wet wash on all of the red area. And I'm gonna be using Pyro Red and Perylene Maroon and then I have a mixture of perylene maroon and neutral tint as well. So I'm just going to wet the entire red area of the hat, making sure to go around the little white areas. And I'm going to do this all as a wet into wet wash. Now I want to make sure that my water on my paper is nice and even. I don't want any puddles or super wet areas where I can really see a lot of water or else all my colors just going to flow right into there. So once I have my paper wet, I'll then go out, lift a little bit of water, flat it off of my paper towel, and just even out the moisture on my paper before I add paint. So I have that water nice and even, and now I'm going to take a mixture of my Holbein's Pyrrole Red, and I'm going to go over the entire hat. Now, even though some of the areas are darker, they're still dark of bright red. So it's important that I have my pie roll red everywhere before I put those dark areas in to really get that nice bright red of the hat. So before I wet my paper, I have my mixture and my other two separate colors ready to go because I don't want that to water to dry while I'm getting my paint ready. So I always get my paint ready first before I do a wet into wet wash so that once I start adding paint to my paper, I can just keep right on going. So I have that first wash of pyro red over the whole area now. And because this is five by seven, I'm just keeping it pretty quick and pretty simple. So I have it a little bit lighter along the edge where the light is hitting against. And then I'm gonna rinse and dry off my brush and just go through and lift right along these edges here that the light is hitting on the hat. There's a couple of them where I have the lines drawn in that are just a little bit lighter. So I'll go through and just lift those out just a tiny bit. And then I'll come back in while everything's still wet with my perylene maroon. And I'm gonna start putting in some of the darker areas. Now, what I have to remember is right now, everything is wet into wet. So wherever I put this, it is going to flow around to the other areas. So I need to be careful when I get close to the areas that I want lighter. I am gonna do this in another wash as well. So in the beginning, I'm just getting in my general color and then I'll come back with another layer and make it just a little bit more exact where, when I put in a few more details in that second layer. So for now, I'm just getting the general shading in where I want it, where it gets a little bit darker. I am not using the mixture that has the dark neutral tint in it. I am only using the Perylene Maroon and the Pyro Red for this initial wash. So I'll get a little bit more Pyro Red in right up on this darker edge and a little bit more under this edge of the hat. And then I'm just going to let that go and let that initial wash dry. Now that my first wash is dry, I'm going to come in with my Perylene Maroon and come right into this darker area as a second layer and come right up to the edge and it comes down around and it kind of curves under in and down around. So I'm going to put this layer in. I'm going to turn my paper a little bit so that I have the edge of my brush the point going towards my darkest layer. And I'm just gonna kind of blend this color in a little bit. So right now this is just the Perylene Maroon. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the mixture of the Perylene Maroon and neutral tint just to the darkest areas of this. 
So I'm gonna have that perylene maroon and neutral tint. And I'm gonna just put that right into where it's the darkest into that crease. So I'm gonna go through and add some of these darker areas. And at the same time, I'm also gonna go through and lift up slightly. So right here, where this edge is a little bit lighter, I'm just gonna wet it with my brush a little bit and just lift up a little bit of that color to give the highlight. In order to do this one over here, I'll obviously wait till this wash dries, but I'm gonna go and add those second washes in to really darken and intensify the shadows. While I'm waiting for my second layer of red to finish drying so I can do a little bit more lifting, I'm gonna add some color to the white part. So I'm gonna add a slight wash of ultramarine light right to this left side edge of my white hat, just so that it starts to show up just the tiniest bit against my background. And I'm gonna fade that off into complete white. So you can see I just have the tiniest bit kind of wrapping around the far edge there. And then I'm gonna let this get completely white. And then I'm gonna turn my paper so it's a little bit easier with my brush. And I'm gonna wet the bottom and over to this left side of the white hat. Now I'm not going right up to the red. I don't want to touch the red because I don't want the red to come in with that water. So while this bottom is wet, I'm going to take a little bit of that ultramarine blue mixed with just a little bit of my neutral tint. So it's not just blue, it's just a little bit darker. And I'm going to come and I'm going to put it along the bottom here, kind of just giving that hat a little bit of depth by shading the bottom. And then as I get across further on the other side into the shadow, I'm gonna turn it upside down completely so that my point of my brush is going towards the darkest part so it makes it a little bit easier to blend. And being careful around that red edge, I'm gonna blend in just some of that color. Where it's white, I'm just gonna do a few little tiny little speckles of it to kind of give you the idea that it is fuzzy to give that textured look a little bit. And I'm gonna get it a little bit darker over on this side. And I'm trying to keep that slightly of that blue tone instead of just a neutral gray because sometimes when you paint something gray, it kind of just dulls out your painting. So instead, when I have a shadowed area that's white, I like adding just a little bit of blue to it. I think it livens up the painting a little bit, makes it a little bit more interesting. So you can see as it's starting to get darker going around that right hand side, I'll get a little bit more and make it just a little bit darker right along the bottom where it's really just a little more in shadow. But Keep in mind, this is a five by seven painting. So I'm really gonna just keep it pretty simple. I'm not going too crazy with it. Just enough to give it a little bit of texture. And then I'll put a very light wash on my brush and come in and just give this area the tiniest bit of texture. Again, just with a super light wash on my brush to give that white area the look that it's kind of fuzzy. And I'll do the same thing to that little pom-pom. My blue is in and my red is completely dry. So now I'm just gonna go back in and just lift out just a little bit of the highlight on that edge. So I'm just very gently with my brush going in and just kind of disturbing the paint enough so that I can just lift a little bit. I don't need to lift a crazy amount. I'm not trying to get it back to white. I'm just wetting it enough to pick up a little bit of that highlight 
to really give the hat just that, that much more of a three-dimensional look by adding that highlight in that bright area. Lift up a little. Now, if you are blotting next to the edge of your paper, make sure you have a clean paper towel. If you go down with red, remember that you're gonna get your paper towel or your paper all messed up from the color on your paper towel. So if you are blotting, just make sure you keep moving your paper towel around so that you're blotting with a clean, a clean area and don't go onto that nice white background there. So here I'm just lifting up right along this edge to give it a little bit more of that highlight. And you'll see that that really just gives it that a real three-dimensional look when I do that. Lift a little bit more up here as well. And it is a fabric, it is a fuzz. So if I was doing this larger, I would put a lot more detail into that part of it to really give it that textured look. But because it's so small, I'm really not gonna put a huge amount of detail in there. But I will go in now that everything is dry from before and just add a little bit more of a texture, add a little bit more of a shadow under my little pom-pom. Make sure all my edges are nice and clean where I want them to be. Give a little bit of texture to that. So I think that's pretty good for now. I want it to come down here a little bit. And again, just giving it a little bit of texture to really kind of give that fuzzy effect to it. And there's a little bit of blue coming just around this top to kind of give it that feeling that it turns over. There's a little bit of shadow on there. And a little bit on the bottom here. And at this point, I am ready to put in my shadow. So I'm just doing my shadow very simple. I'm gonna use that same ultramarine light and neutral tint. I'm gonna switch up to a size eight Holbein gold round. I'm gonna make sure I have a clean paper towel in case I have to blot next to my area. So I'll get that ready. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my paper all around where my shadow is gonna go. And I'm gonna simplify the shadow so it's just a really basic shadow going around this, but I'm wetting out further than my shadow's gonna go. I'm again making sure that that water is nice and even and doesn't have big puddles that my color is gonna flow into where I don't want it to go. I'm gonna get my ultramarine and neutral tint mixture and I'm going to come in right next to my hat where the darkest part of my shadow would be and just kind of put a really basic shadow in. I'm not trying to get the shape. I'm not trying to get anything else. I'm really just keeping it a really standard basic shadow. And then while everything is still wet, I can go in and just make sure that those edges are kind of nice and blended out, that I don't have a sharp edge anywhere, and that you don't see all those little marks where it's following into the water, okay? So I'm gonna just blend that out, blend it right under to the bottom. And then I also have a little bit of a shadow that comes across through the bottom. I did not wet that area because it is a pretty direct shadow right under the edge that I'll follow along and join up with that wet into wet shadow. But I'm gonna keep that nice and dark right next to that base. Okay, and it just goes right into that blended shadow into the back. You really wanna do it all at once when it's wet into wet. I touched this area with my brush and I shouldn't have. Let's see if I can fix it and patch it up without making too much of a mark there. Okay, so I have my shadow in. I'm gonna let it be and let it dry. Now my shadow is in and dry and I am gonna come back in because this little spot bothers me right here and I'm just gonna touch that up the tiniest bit. 
now that it's dry and just kind of fill that in a little bit because it was bothering me. I also have a little spot of white there that I'll just tone down a tiny bit because I don't want it that bright. Okay, so I have just about everything in. I can go through and make some minor adjustments now. If I want the hat to look fuzzier, I can take a little bit of that ultramarine mixture and just come in now that the whole thing is dry and just add a little bit of that dry brush where the brush is horizontal to the paper. And I'm just adding a little bit of that look of fuzz to the hat, okay? But I have a very diluted wash on my brush, barely wet, so I'm only getting a little bit on to just kind of give it that fuzzy, dry brush look to give it a little bit of texture, okay? And any other little adjustments you need to make on there, but for the most part, for a little five by seven card, I would call this done. So make sure you sign your card with your signature. Thanks so much for joining me to do this little five by seven Santa hat. Let's paint.